Lesson 183. I call upon God's name and on my own. Hi there. Are you ready to explore the profound power of the true name of God? Let's embark on this enlightening journey. I call upon God's name and on my own. God's name is holy, yet no holier than ours. When we call upon His name, we call upon our own as well. Our Father gives us His name, identifying us with Him. Our brothers share His name too, so we are all united in a bond that gives us our unique identity. Our Father's name reminds us who we truly are, even in a world that fails to recognize us, and even when we've forgotten ourselves. When God's name is spoken, it cannot go unanswered. When we say His name, we invite the angels to come and surround us, sing to us, and spread their wings protecting us from any worldly thought that gets in the way of our remembering our holiness. Repeat God's name, and all the world responds by laying down its illusions. Dreams that were once cherished vanish, and in their place we find a star, a miracle of grace. Those who were sick arise, healed of their thoughts of sickness. The blind regain their sight, the deaf their hearing. Those burdened with sorrow shed their grief their tears of pain evaporating, replaced by happy laughter that blesses the world. Repeat the name of God, and all other names lose their meaning. Nothing can tempt us when God's name is in our hearts. Repeat His name, and see how easily we discard the names of all the gods we once held dear. Their names become forgotten, losing their value to us, even though we once worshipped them as gods. Repeat the name of God, and call upon yourself, whose name is His. Repeat His name, and all the small things on earth will fall into the right perspective. We won't mistake the nameless for the name, the insignificant for the significant. We won't confuse sin with grace, nor see separate bodies instead of the Holy Son of God. If we sit together in quiet contemplation with a fellow seeker, repeating God's name, we construct an altar that connects us to God Himself and His Son. Today, let's immerse ourselves in this practice, repeating God's name gently, over and over. Let all our thoughts focus on this. At first, let's use words when we say today's idea. I call upon God's name and my own. Thereafter, let's not use any other words and let God's name become our only thought, our only word the sole desire of our hearts, the unique sound that resonates with meaning, and the only name that defines everything we wish to behold and call our own. By doing so, we extend an invitation that God Himself will answer. We cannot hope to reach Him by calling upon Him with names that worldly idols bear. He cannot hear requests that call Him or His Son by any other name. I call upon God's name and my own. Let's repeat God's name and recognize Him as the sole creator of our reality. Let's also acknowledge that His Son is part of Him, creating in His name. Let's sit silently, allowing His name to become the all-encompassing idea that holds our consciousness completely. Let every thought be still except this one. And let's replace the thousand little names we gave our thoughts with God's name. There exists but one name for everything there is and everything there ever will be. I call upon God's name and my own. Today, we have the opportunity to reach a state where we can truly appreciate the gift of grace. We can liberate ourselves from all bondage of the world, and extend the same liberation to the world itself. We can recall what the world has forgotten and share our knowledge with it. Today, we can embrace our role in the salvation of both the world and ourselves. And we can accomplish both perfectly. I call upon God's name and my own. Let's turn to the name of God for our liberation, and it will be granted to us. No other prayers are needed, for this singular prayer encompasses them all. When we call upon God's name, words are insignificant, and there's no need to make any requests. His thoughts become our own. What we claim is what our Father has given, is still giving, and will forever give. We call upon Him, and all the things we thought we had made are rendered nameless, valueless, 
and insignificant to be supplanted by the sacred name of God. I call upon God's name and my own. All the small things of earth fall silent now, soundless, they vanish without a trace. The only thing that remains in the universe is the Son of God, who calls upon His Father. And in response, God's voice echoes His holy name. In this eternal relationship, communication transcends words, for it reaches depths and heights unattainable by mere verbal expression. This is eternal peace. Today, under our Father's name, we will experience this peace. Through His name, this eternal peace will be granted to us. I call upon God's name and my own. Isn't that extraordinary? Isn't it fascinating how merely calling upon the name of God can infuse such peace and grace into our life? You're doing great, and you should never forget to celebrate that you've embarked on this spiritual journey. See you tomorrow for another powerful lesson. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. There's a new lesson every day.